It's funny. You thought, again, like the Rapsol video, you'd just be staring at the screen all day, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'm sorry if you just got off watching the Rapsol video. It was a long video. So, let's keep it short, sweet, and simple. Let's screw the screen. Screw the Apple Smart Cover. Don't need that. Today, I've got some better focus on. Oh, yeah. Carbon Fiber iPad 2. Well, you know it had to happen. You Didn't you know it? One of the companies had to wrap it. So why not let iCarbons do it? iCarbons was the first to the market, guys, on the iPad 2, I believe. They got it, I want to say, probably the day after the iPad 2 came out. It was insane. And honestly, the, the pictures look good of it, but the pictures can't compare to how it looks in real life. Uh, now, one of the tough things with the iCarbons that you might notice is that my corner, the corners on this aren't completely folded. Just take a, uh, like a hair dryer and put it flat. It really does fix it. I just haven't bothered to take the time to do it yet. Other than that, I can say it's a great product, guys. Completely scratch proof, no fingerprints. You get the white Apple logo, or you can keep the black one. You can pull that out. You can see you get nice cutouts of the speakers, the dock connector. Let me pull it up a little bit. The camera has nice access, no LED issues because there is no LED. You get nice cutouts to the volume button, even the microphone, the 3.5 millimeter headset jack, and your rotation or mute switch, and your volume talk or your volume blockers. So overall, it's a very nice feel on the iPad 2. Definitely gives the iPad 2 a nice look. Definitely matches my MacBook Pro. And it matches the next thing I'm about to show you. Let's see. So you've seen my carbon fiber iPad 2. You've seen my carbon fiber MacBook Pro. You've seen my carbon fiber iPhone 4 in times. What's next? What the frick? Yeah. That is probably the sexiest looking game console you'll ever see. Without a doubt. What is it? It's Xbox 360 Carbon Edition. Or iCarbon's edition, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, guys, you can see. Oh, squeaky right there. You can see it's a carbon fiber Xbox 360 Slim. Now they do make the elite models in carbon fiber too. Uh, overall, you can see, without a doubt, this is probably the hottest looking game console. I've had relatives come over. I had a, I had a family get together, like I want to say probably three days ago, and without a doubt, people were just asking me like crazy how I got my Xbox to look like this. And I told them, and some of them I know ordered because this is just absolutely insane how nice this looks in person. The video captures it nicely too in 720 or 1080 however I export this video. You can see it's just without a doubt one of the nicest, nicest looking things on my Xbox. And it's funny because this is actually an Xbox that I let my sister play quite often for some of her games, her Dance Central games. Um, so it's funny because she didn't want it at first but now looking at it it's without a doubt. Even my dad starts to brag to his friends when they come over about it. Just how nice it looks. It does have the Xbox 360 cutout still. Nice cutout for the fans, vents. You just have access on the top right here and on the bottom. Does not interfere with the back ports at all. You can see it covers just enough on the back, but doesn't interfere with any of your ports. And on the front, the same is true about it. You still have that flap. In fact, you can see that's even carbon fiber. Power button is still accessible. This tray is skin, but accessible. And so is the power button. Definitely both very nice products from iCarbons. The only thing I would like to see maybe on the Xbox One is a skin on the Kinect. I don't know if it's possible, but I think maybe the only thing that can make this look better is to connect skin to carbon fiber. So, maybe if we can, maybe if there's enough people that want it, maybe put a comment, someone put a comment, and then get likes on it, send it back to iCarbons. We'll see what they think of it. So, if you want to get prices real quick on both these, let me just show you on both the iCarbons PS, or not PS, uh, even though they have PS3, the Xbox 360 and the iPad 2. So, you can see the iPad 2 will run you $29.95. That is available in white or black, the white and black one for just the back. I will be giving away. You can see I don't have the front install of mine because of the wrap sole. Uh, I will be giving away, like I said, a white and back iCarbon Zoe as part of my summer giveaway. They also do have a dark cherry wood and a lighter wood, I know, if you like the wood idea. I'm personally not a big fan of that. And you do get a bunch of other options when ordering your thing. Make sure you know what version of iPad you have. So let's just go up again to the top. And I'll show you the Xbox One. Now, Xbox One is obviously a little bit more expensive than the. Let's see, it's a little bit more expensive than the iPad 2 because it's a bigger area. But I think it's definitely worth the money, especially if you play Xbox a lot. Uh, definitely worth making it visually. Visually, you just want your Xbox to look beautiful. So you can see, for ten dollars more, you get the Xbox. Then you get the Slim model, which is what you saw here, the Xbox Slim, the S, the current one or you have the Elite one, the original Xbox is not covered, but you do also have the choice of white,
carbon fiber, dark wood, light wood, and the black carbon fiber, obviously. So make sure you check out both these devices, devices skins rather. Uh, thanks to iCarbons.com for sending this out for review, and Bruce over there and Rosa for helping me out get this out for review. Uh, make sure to check out the giveaway coming soon. If you know, if you've been watching the past videos, I'm doing a big summer giveaway. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.